ISTQB Foundation Level Question 298 Given the following example defects 1. Two different parts of the design specification disagree due to the complexity of the design. 2. A response time is too long and so makes users lose patience. 3. A path in the code cannot be reached during execution. 4. A variable is declared but never subsequently used in the program. 5. The amount of memory needed by the program to generate a report is too high. Which of the following best identifies example defects that could be found by static testing rather than dynamic testing? Answers A. 2. 5. B. 3. 5. C. 1. 2. 4. D. 1. 3. 4. Take a moment to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to don't miss new ICQB questions and answers that will help you guaranteed enhancing your skills. Join us on this learning journey. If you find value in that I do and my videos help you, then you have the option to donate through the links in the video description to I can release new videos on ICQB questions on a regular basis. Considering each of the listed example defects, let's look at all the statements from 1 to 5 according to ISTQB syllabus. Statement 1. Two different parts of the design specification disagree due to the complexity of the design. This is an example of a specification defect which includes inconsistencies, ambiguities, contradictions, omissions, inaccuracies, and duplications, which can most easily be found by static testing. Statement 2. A response time is too long and so makes user lose patience. This is an example of a response time defect which can only be detected in practice by executing the program and measuring the response time, which can most easily be found by dynamic testing. Statement 3. A path in the code cannot be reached during execution. This is an example of a coding defect, which includes variables with undefined values, undeclared variables, duplicated or unreachable code, and excessive code complexity, which can most easily be found by static testing. Statement 4. A variable is declared but never subsequently used in the program. This is an example of a coding defect which includes variables with undefined values, undeclared variables, duplicated or unreachable code, and excessive code complexity, which can most easily be found by static testing. Statement 5. The amount of memory needed by the program to generate a report is too high. This is an example of a performance defect, which can only be detected in practice by executing the program and measuring the memory used, which can most easily be found by dynamic testing. In summary, the correct match for static testing is 1, 3, 4, and correct answer is 
D. Explanation. Finally, let's look at the section 3.1.3, differences between static testing and dynamic testing in the ISTQB syllabus, where we can see that static testing may more easily detect defects that lay on paths through the code that are rarely executed or hard to reach using dynamic testing. Typical defects that are easier and or cheaper to find through static testing include defects in requirements, e.g. inconsistencies, ambiguities, contradictions, omissions, inaccuracies, duplications. Certain type of coding defects, e.g. variables with undefined values, undeclared variables, unreachable or duplicated code, excessive code complexity. This is fully consistent with the statements 1, 3, 4 and the correct answer D. I do think that you are an incredibly talented person and it will be ridiculously easy for you to answer such kinds of questions if you figure out all the ISTQB questions on my video channel for absolutely free, only for subscribe. And then passing the Certified Tester Foundation level exam will not be a dream, but a reality. Never give up.